The last one we're going to talk about today from the IGN news drop of amazing stuff is that of the War for Cybertron Kingdom leader class Earth Mode Ultra Magnus. Probably the least exciting of the bunch, primarily because it is just really a big retool slash repaint of the original Siege Ultra Magnus. But we're still going to cover it because there's a lot of... I guess misconceptions I could say with this gallery as opposed to the other two with Air Razor and Dinobot and I'll jump into that first with with the press report on this one so it says leader class Ultra Magnus 7.5 inches there's not going to be many surprises with this one again because it is a repaint slash remold of a previously existing mold that already we've gotten twice through both the spoiler pack and the original Siege leader release accessory truck armored MSRP $49.99, and the extra piece of information that we got here that I didn't mention in the previous two segments, all three of these figures will be available on Hasbro Pulse to pre-order on December 3rd and are uh, set to arrive and ship out for April 1st, 2021. So it also gives us an idea of what Wave 2 will probably, uh, when Wave 2 will probably be shipping out for all of these guys. So let's jump into the images. Now, not much to really discuss in terms of of the toy itself, but I do want to mention that a lot of these standardized images that were taken here, these really nice volcanic, you know, background images, a lot of them are mistransformed or missing pieces. So don't judge this 100% because like, so give an example, right? So the alt mode, um, number one, I just wanted to say it looks not too bad. To begin with, uh, I am kind of disappointed that they didn't retool the trailer more in the back. It still has that more standard God Magnus, uh, robots in disguise, car robots, Ultra Magnus trailer with the the grilling, I guess we could call it, like the side grilling. So mm, uh, it, it's kind of a shame that the rest of that trailer wasn't remolded. It was just kind of just the front and everything. Uh, so that kind of hurts it a little bit for me. Uh, I was I was so excited saying like oh this is totally like a a studio series figure that ended up becoming Kingdom, when it really is kind of the you know it's it, this is kind of a sh this one, I think we'll still get a better Ultra Magnus in the future to replace your uh, whatever you've had in the past and this doesn't fit this is like a stand in for your studio series for now until we get something better in retail, but the images that we have here uh, they right away so they forgot to put some of the pieces that make Ultra Magnus's trailer. They're absent at the bottom, so it does look a little hollow, these images. Also, when we get uh, to the robot mode, uh, they mistransformed some pieces. They didn't uh, flip over the crotch piece. For people that own the Siege one, it, the crotch piece actually has a flip over different detail on the other side. Uh, you can see what those details look like on the box uh, I guess we could call it the, the stock images on the back of the box, which are also included with this image package. So you see the little details that are different. There's a, a line of blue along the bottom and everything. But then the funny thing is, is when you look at the, the truck mode, they, they put the missiles in the wrong spot. So it, you kind of have to jump between the stock images and the non-stock images. And even when we get to the inner robot, which was the, the part I was the most excited about, man... <laughs> Jeez, they mess up everywhere with the transformation. So the volcano images, um, they get most of it right, but they didn't transform the uh, the front of the truck properly. It's just kind of hanging off of the back like a big booty or something. It's actually supposed to uh, slide up to the top and then fold down, which makes it look a lot nicer. So it looks kind of bad there for people who haven't held the original Siege mold. It's not supposed to look like that. Uh, it looks a lot nicer. When you look at the stock image, they kind of have it right over there, so at least that's kind of good. But then when you get to like the, the stock images that have the white background, not the one that's the stock image on the back of the box, man, they, they mistransform it even more. The chest is like fully uh, uh, f folded all the way up front, so there's this huge gap. Again, the, the front of the trailer isn't lined up properly, and it's creating that big booty look. Big booty Ultra Magnus. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, I don't know. Again, it, it these images are not a proper indicator of what that mold is. Like, and I'm saying the mold, the toy itself. Like, obviously, there's the new tooling of the legs, of the chest, of the arms, of the face. Uh, the missiles look more or less the same. Again, when you look at the truck mode itself and and the inner robot, so we have the 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 new more flat nose Optimus Prime kind of truck. So that's kind of cool. Kind of sucks also that they can't have the uh, 
the smokestacks on the outside to make it more animation accurate to what it was previously. But uh, that's, you know, that's slim pickings. I'm not going to worry too much about that considering what it has to start with. But it's just, again, big warning. All the little, like, I guess... I guess kibble complaints that people have kibble being like stuff that hangs off of a transformer. Um, there's a lot of mistransformations here with this image package. So don't, uh, don't take this at face value. A lot of this, I'm actually surprised. It almost looks like they kind of just took this out of the package from, from the leader class box and just kind of went to town because it looks like even it's packaged in robot mode. The, uh, the, the crotch pieces flipped the wrong way too. So I think they kind of just, you know, went quickly and just did a quick photo shoot got this all out there because of what happened with safety korea that's that's just one assumption but otherwise um probably the least exciting of the bunch but it's still a great mold don't get me wrong i mean again uh siege ultra magnus like i've said in previous segments and even on my uh, live streams uh one of the better siege molds of that year it was one of the one of my picks that year definitely like him like the leader classes were all incredible just every siege was a good line in general it obviously had its hiccups here and there but it uh, in all all in all it was a good line uh just maybe a little overpriced in my opinion for what you got for some of the deluxe scales and everything but otherwise like pretty good stuff pretty good stuff if, if price isn't a factor and this ultra magnus still looks great you know again little little complaints aside they could have done more with the trailer if you're someone that doesn't own the siege one already it's a good place to start um if you already own the siege one maybe wait for a sale if you do want to pick this one up leader classes and the voyagers seem to always go on sale way more than anything else just because they take more space in retail and they have to be moved but I would wait it out, not to mention if you're someone that's looking for something for your studio series kind of shelving, I think we're going to get something better later. I really do. I think that this was going to be the case initially going into it for me, but the more that I look at it now and the final product with these images, I still think that there's room for improvement for that when we do get, who knows, a year from now, two years from now, a leader class Ultra Magnus for Studio Series 86. And you know they're going to milk this for years, um, that 86 monarchy. Um, I think that we're going to get something better. So if you're a Magnus fan, wait it out for now. I think there's something uh, better in the horizon coming. But yeah, pretty good stuff otherwise. Very interesting. Again, hopefully <laughs> hopefully this is the it for news. I mean, we, we belted out four segments today just because of all of this. Um, Maybe we're gonna get an inferno out of nowhere, but I think uh, I think we're good for now. I think we're good for now. We got we got stuff otherwise. So let me know what you think about these guys. All good stuff. Those beasts take my breath away. Ah, good stuff. Let me think, guys. It's been a crazy 24 hours. <laughs>